Number 24, Brandon McDowell, a 6'4 freshman. Greyhounds with the ball, bearing out deep left wing. We'll go across here to Deaver. Deaver on the right side. Lobs it back across. Barry will pump. We'll drive in the lane off the glass. No good. Scramble for the rebound. And the towel will have it. Both teams are pretty cold. Both teams look like a little tight, Carl. Here's a steal by Deaver. Deaver will work it back down. Ahead to Chris King, and he's fouled by the towel. The freshman with his first foul. With 4.19 left to go in the first period. Six to two. This will be a non-shooting foul. The McDowell, 6'4". Yeah, he sure is. is. 6'4". Boy, he looks taller than that. Only a freshman, too. Greyhounds will inbound it. David Duden swing in the ball game. We'll throw it out. Stevens, a three-pointer from the corner. No good. Rebounded by Duden Singh, a six-foot junior. Duden Singh goes right wing to Dorsey in the ball game. Back to Duden Singh. Back across Stever. And before the shot, Foul's going to be on 55. They foul inside on Scott Stevens. Blocking. And 4.06 left to go. 6 to 2. Two fouls on Stevens. Full court pressure by the Greyhounds. The Hornets throw it in, and we get a foul in the backcourt. That called on Duden Singh. And Brooks got the ball in from Anderson. And the Hornets will inbound it one more time. Duden Singh, both teams down with 14 fouls. The well, Hounds matching up a little bit on a man-to-man -man, uh, type of pressure. Harris Brooks across the timeline. Brooks all the way. Now lob it down low, right baseline. Out of bounds. Too tall for Gilly. Boy, that Gilly can jump. That's kind of he couldn't control the ball, though, in uh, a turnover. The uh, Hornets just hadn't been able to get any shots down here. Paul's only put up three shots. They've wow. got five turnovers. Here's Deaver back to Duden Singh, left wing. Duden Singh works it right side. Dorsey deep in the right corner. Back to Duden Singh. Thought about the three, will not take it. Now he will take the 18 footer and it's headed out no good. Rebounded by Brooks. Back down come the Hornets with 335, only one bucket. Back to Anderson, three pointer is up and good. Oh, the big man hit a three, six to five. For Greg Anderson, six forward, a nice touch from long range. Back the other way, Deaver across to Dorsey. Dorsey will drive on the right face line. Duden Singh, Duden Singh to Tolliver back to the game. Shot from the free throw line is good. Well, he set Tolliver down for about two minutes, and he's back in. Gets a quick bucket. Eight to five by a score, three minutes left to go. Here's Brooks against Duden Singh. Brooks just over the timeline. Ball is loose, gets it back. Brooks will drive. Bodies on the floor, no foul. He'll take the shot from 16, it's no good. Rebounded by Grimsley. Back the other way, quickly ahead to Deaver. Deaver will hold up, take the three, and it is good! Oh, the two they say. So a two-pointer by Deaver makes it 10 to five. Portis will work it back down court. Brooks to Frazier. Frazier will work it to the free throw line. Dish it off, no one there, and a battle. Well, both teams are trying to move it in there, but uh, nobody holds for the morning. A little bit of a uh, hard time on that, Tom. And David Dudenstein will inbound it for the Greyhounds. 227, 10 to 5 hour score. 13, 13's in for Knox City. Who is that? That is Dorsey. Dorsey. Yeah. Kevin Dorsey. Kevin Here's Dorsey. a lob inside. Tolliver will lay it up in good. Boy, he is so big and quick in there. Strong. Gets another bucket. It is 12 to 5. Back the other way, here comes Brooks. Brooks, he double teamed. Now gets it off to McDowell. He will drive and he gets fouled by Oliver, I believe. And no shooting foul. Hornets throw it in. A quick shot from seven by McDowell. No good. Brinsley high for the rebound. Nobody home, and now Dorsey gets it. Almost take it away. Dorsey works it down court for the Greyhounds to Duden Singh. Duden Singh back to Dorsey. Dorsey. A junior back to Grimsley, back to Duden Singh, across to Deaver, left wing. Deaver will drive back out to Duden Singh inside Tolliver. Tolliver kicks it back out. Grimsley, seven footer, no good. And a foul is called on the Hornets. Boy, I like the way that Hounds moves the ball around it. Well, uh, that's my plan at 1 3 1, and Paul go uh, to the to the Hounds left side. 
and they invite you to try a seedless watermelon this summer. Johnson Mellon Corporation in Knox City. When you think of seedless melons, think Johnson Mellon Corporation in Knox City. Hornets have the ball to the second period and throw it away. They try to work it on the right baseline. Greyhounds force a turnover and will have control. Leading after one, 21 to seven, here is Marion. Back to King, King back to the ball game, will have control. Goes to Stevens at the free throw line, right corner to Marion, back to King, back to Marion, right side, back out to Deaver, Deaver, back to Marion, knocked out of bounds by Justin Cheney of the Hornets. Sorry, Coach. Carl, uh, Knox City hit 50% from the uh, two-point range and 33 and a third percent from the three-point, whereas uh, Estremont hit 100 from the three-point and 33 and a third from the uh, two-point range. Not too many shots by Not the Hornets. Not too many shots by the Hornets, you're right. Here's Deaver back to King underneath Stevens. Stevens kicks it back out. Eight-footer off the glass, good. Oh, what a nice feed by Stevens. And Marion got the bucket quickly down. It's stolen by Marion, and he walked. Oh, he did. Put on the brakes there. <laughs> Harry Collins for a walk. 7.05 left in the first half. 23-7 for the Hornets, only getting off seven shots seven total. total. And uh, Knox City got off uh, 18. Here's Anderson to Cheney. He'll put it up from seven. No good. Rebounded by Grimsley. The output pass to Marion. Greyhounds work it back for the Greyhounds very quick on both ends. Here's a bounce pass, Stevens right baseline. It's blocked by Anderson. Oh boy, Anderson got that one, 6-4, and Brooks will come out with it. Brooks will work it down court. Will go to Anderson who hit a three. Back to Brooks, lobs it inside. Here's Gilly, lost it, but it's off Deaver. Oh, Deaver was just trying to more or less get out of the way and the ball came off of him. He knew it was going out of bounds and the Hornets have it underneath their own basket. And Anderson will throw it in to Gilly out deep in the corner to Matt Frazier. Frazier will drive along the baseline and lay it up for the foul. 
Oh, what a nice move by Matt Frazier, the junior. And the foul is on Tolliver. That is number three, right. I believe. Exactly right. Well, the big man is going out for Knox City, the 6'3 junior. Who's that? Matt Frazier scored that back. Yep, and Matt Frazier will be on the free throw line. It sure was. 23 to 9. Our score, 629 in the first half. Matt Frazier trying to finish the three-point play, and nothing but net. Scott Stevens checks back in for Tolliver. Smith with three fouls. Back the other way comes Chris King. Chris King down court. We'll work it to Deaver. Deaver back to King, going on the right corner to Marion. Back to King. King back to Deaver. Deaver yeah. is charged with a walk as he took off with it. And another turnover, 23 to 10. The Hornets trail, and we have the ball as they try to cut into this 13-point lead. Back the other way, here comes Greg Anderson ahead to Matt Frazier. Matt, the junior, back out to Wesley Brooks. Wesley Brooks will drive on King on the left side. Now it goes back in, and Deaver has it. Knocks it away. Three on one break. King all the way. Uncontested layup and good. 25 to 10. Boy, Deaver credit him with that. Those quick hands. Back the other way, and now three on three, and lay it up no good for the Hornets. And the ball is a foul from behind, called on Wesley Brooks. Well, it looks like Brooks was going to have the layup here, and it just would not go in. And then, coming back on defense, got a foul. Was that 16 fouls? Not wow. yet in the one and one. Hounds will inbound it. Here is Deaver, left wing. Deaver goes deep in the left corner to Grimsley. Grimsley looking for someone, being guarded by Gilly. Back to Deaver, bounce pass to Stevens. Stevens almost lost it. Gets it back, blocked, and they say a foul on Anderson, I believe. That's right, that is on big Greg Anderson, the 6'4 senior. And that is foul number one. Foul number one. Going to the free throw line will be Scott Stevens for two. 25 to 10, the Greyhounds lead, 5.30 left to go. Free throw is up and good. For Stevens, say another one coming. And Scott Stevens will put it up, and this one's good. Hornets will work it down. Anderson will inbound it to Brooks. Coming down court, Brooks will go right side, and a travel called on Matt Frazier. Boy, Matt Frazier slid a little bit out there. And a couple of changes. David Dudenfee will check back in for the Greyhounds. Casey Lentz back in for Knox City, 6'2", senior. And Knox City will have it. means to care for, to cater to someone's comfort. City Motel in Knox City doesn't just have rooms available for overnight or extended stay. Knox City wants to wish the Knox City Greyhounds and Hounds basketball teams the best of luck in tonight's game. M-System Supermarket suggests that you take your budget through their wine aisles and see the difference on every shelf, the savings in every department. At M-System Supermarkets, you get more for your money. Compare, and when you do, you'll find you do get more at M-System Supermarket. There is just so much you can put in a store, but Art Stall and Frame Shop in Knox City is trying very hard to make their stores stretch. Art Stall and Frame Shop is full of new items and lots of new ideas for you. Just arrived and new for you is a collection of sterling silver jewelry. You can select from earrings, charms, pendants, and rings, all in beautiful sterling silver. And while you're there, you can pick out that wedding gift for Jennifer Grindstaff and Ross Schubert. Visit Art Stall and Frame Shop and Gifts in Knox City. You'll be glad you did. County News, Knox County's oldest established newspaper, progressively leading the community. The best of luck to the Knox City Greyhounds and Hound Dads from the staff at the Knox County News. And we are back with you. Sorry for that uh, interruption. Well, we were away. The Hornets did hit a free throw. Back on the other end, Scott Stevens for two after a foul and hit the ball. Makes it a 29 to 11 ball game. Our score, the Knox City Greyhounds with an 18 point lead. And now we get a foul called as Wesley Brooks moves it down for the Hornets. That foul is called on. Is that on Dudenstein? 
33, that's right. 33, David Dudenstein called for the foul. And going to the free throw line will be Wesley Brooks for a one and one. This one up and good, 29 to 12. The Greyhounds came into this ball game at 3 and 0, leading District 18A. As for Bosco, right there at two and one. Second free throw is good as it rattles in, 29 to 13. And the Hornets with some full court pressure. The Greyhounds break it. Here's Deaver all the way, bounce pass to. Good. Oh, good work, Stever to Dorsey, 31 to 13. Boy, they are quick. Back the other way, Wesley Brooks will bring it down for the Hornets. Wesley Brooks on the left side, Duke sing on him. Back to Anderson, goes right wing, and here's Frazier open for the layup. No good, but a blocking foul oh, on West Grimsley and send Pat Frazier to the free throw line for. What is it, two or one and one? It's going to be two shots. Okay, Matt Frazier shooting two to at least uh, remain at a tie for first place. As Wesley Brooks, a 5'11 junior, at the free throw line. This one is up and it is good. 31 to 14. And the Hornets. Make this one good, so he hits them both. It is 31 to 15 now, our score after one. It was 21 to seven. Scott Stevens against the pressure, ahead to Dorsey, they break it. Dorsey will pull up now. Right corner, goes to West Grimsley, back to Dudensing, left side, Deaver. Deaver will bump, drive from 17, good! So Deaver, that left-handed shot there, makes it 33 to 15. Back the other way comes Brooks, and bodies on the floor, no call. Brooks will get it back to Anderson. Anderson, right wing to Frazier. Frazier, trying to look inside. Good defense, good side by Knox Hoodie. Here's number 10 of the ball game. Casey lets back in, and underneath, left face line to Anderson drive. No good, but they call a foul. I'll call that on Stevens. Scott Stevens, the 6'3 senior. That is foul number three. I tell you, Scott Stevens and Dwayne Tolliver both with three fouls, the big men in there for Knox City. And Scott Stevens will come out. Ryan Marion will check back in with 3.21 left to go in the first half. 33 to 15, our score. Knox City in the lead. Here's the free throw by Anderson. It's no good off the back iron. And we'll have a second shot coming up here. Greg Anderson, 6'4", senior. Brooks, Frazier, Lent, Chaney all on the floor. This one no good. Scramble for the rebound. It's out of bounds off. Knox City, I believe. Nope. They say off the Hornets down. We'll have the basketball. West Grimsley will throw it in against the pressure. It's batted back out by Lent. So we'll try it again. West Grimsley will throw it in, looking for someone to go to, finally to Marion, as they work to get that full court pressure. Marion across the timeline to Dudensing, Dudensing underneath, way up in good by Kevin Dorsey. Well, that was working the press pretty good. Yes, it was. It was a good, good uh, press play. Back the other way, on the baseline, and the blocking foul on Marion. Oh, he saw a walk. A walk on Justin Cheney is called. Another turnover. And the Greyhounds with a 20-point lead have it back, 35 to 15. As Grimsley throws it in. Dudensing cannot handle it. Ball is out of bounds. Hornets have it at their own end of the court with three minutes left to go in the first half. Greg Anderson throws the basketball in. And we'll throw it out deep to Brooks on the right side. He'll take the three, and it's no good. Rebounded by Ryan Marion as the Greyhounds run. Marion all the way, coast to coast, and we get a blocking foul. 32 on the half. And let's see, they rule it on the floor, so it'll be a one and one. That was on Matt Frazier. And Ryan Marion will be at the free throw line. Boy, the Hornets only one field goal this quarter. They did five free throws. Free throw line, the 5'10 senior. This one is up and no good. Rebounded by Anderson. 
Greg Anderson will kick it back out to Brooks. And now in the ball game is Calabanco Lorenzo, and he lost it to Dudensing. Dudensing almost lost again, and now it is stolen by the Hornets. As Casey Lentz will have it to Calabanco in the right corner. Back out, and it's stolen by Dorsey. Dorsey will bring it all the way, lay it up and good. 37 to 15. Full court pressure by the Greyhounds right now. 2.20 left to go. As Brooks will bring it down court to Anderson. Anderson to Calabanco to the basket. No good. Rebounded by Lentz. He'll lay it up. No good. And Dorsey with another rebound. Boy, Dorsey is six foot playing pretty tall in there. He's playing real well. Dodge City Greyhounds, here's Newton Singh, back with the show. Looks like they may take some time off the clock here. They lead by 22. Ryan Marion now will drive to the paint, throws it back out to Dorsey. Dorsey kicks it back out to Deaver, to Newton Singh, back to Deaver. Deaver is just holding it near the timeline. Back to Dorsey, 139 left to go in the first half. Back to Deaver. Dock City, and here's a lob inside. Dorsey breaks into the basket, and good. Boy, they left him open, and Dorsey with another uncontested layup. And now we have a walk on the Hornets, and Knox City will have it back. Another turnover. That's uh, 16 turnovers Am for Knox City. Looking at that, Knox City has only missed one shot this quarter. That's right. And Aspenhart's made only one. Wow. Right. And uh, let's see what we have. The Greyhounds will throw it in after that turnover. Here's a lob down high, and it's too high for Grimsley. As Susan Singh was trying to go to the basket and a turnover on Knox City. The Hornets have it back. As Jason Gilly will throw the basketball in to Kalamako. Ahead now to Casey Lentz. Kent Lentz will throw it underneath to Kalamako. Go to the basket. Out of bounds off Duden Singh. Hornets will inbound it underneath their own basket. Jason Gilly, the 6'2 junior, will throw it in. Still has it now. Gets it out to Kalamako. And tip out of bounds off Duden Singh going for the steal. So the Hornets will inbound it, side out. 39 to 15, our score. As Jason Gilly again will throw the basketball in, a five second call. Good, uh, good defense by Knox City that time on the out of bounds. Boy, that uh, defense is five relentless seconds. by Knox City. They're just all over the Hornets right now. Minute 09, counting down the first. And here's the near steal by Calabanco, and they get him for a pushing foul. And Ryan Marion goes back to the free throw line to shoot a one and one. With 39 to 15 our score, the Greyhounds 18 and three on the season. What a great year for the Greyhounds and head coach Wayne Johnson. Meanwhile, Asperbot 10 and 10 for the year. Steve Howard, their head coach. Free throw good. Marion will have another one coming. Makes it 42 15. This free throw is up and in and out. No good. Rebounded by Casey Lentz. Lentz ahead to Matt Frazier. Across the timeline to Casey Lentz. Lentz back out to Calamaco. Lorenzo Calamaco is a freshman working it to the left wing and thought about the three and now puts it on the floor. Justin Chaney from 12. No good. Gilly inside. Rebound. Good. And Jason Gilly makes it 40 to 17 with 40 seconds left to go. Ryan Marion across the timeline to Dorsey. Dorsey back out to Marion. Marion holding it near the timeline to Deaver. 26 seconds left. Here's a lob and nobody home. I think he thought Dorsey might be breaking to the basket well, there. He might go back door. I think what it looked like he was trying to set up. Hornets will have the basketball. 24 seconds here is Lentz bringing it down court. Lentz ahead to Matt Frazier. Frazier, and it's stolen by Ryan Marion. Marion on the floor, and they call a walk. Hornets will have it. At 15.3 seconds in the first half. Nope, they give it to the Greyhounds. And the Greyhounds will inbound it, side out. As Ryan Marion will throw it in to the near side. That is Deaver. Deaver moving down court. 
will pass it off to Dorsey. Underneath open, Grimsley, no good. The rebound by Brooks ahead to Calabarco, stolen by Dudensing. With three seconds, Dudensing to Grimsley, to Marion, no good at the buzzer. And we have come to the end of the first Greyhound 40, and the Hornets 17 at halftime from Knox City. We'll be back in the month and all. Yep. Size-wise, these teams matching up, but Knox City with all that quickness and they demonstrated that in the first half. Here we go. The Greyhounds will have the basketball as they lob inside Tolliver left baseline. No good. Rebound pulled down by Justin Chaney. So the Hornets will have a chance to get the first bucket here. Fields dish off to Matt Frazier, right wing, working on the left end of the court now. The Hornets, Frazier in the left corner. Back outside to Wesley Brooks. Back to Frazier. Three-pointer is good. Nothing but net. 40 to 20. Well, if you can keep hitting those, you can get back to the game. Sure can. Back the other way, here is Chris King. Chris to Stevens, Scott Stevens to Ryan Marion on the right side. Back out to Tolliver at the free throw line. Tolliver with Stevens both with three fouls. Back to King, back to Deaver, free throw line. Shot no good. And the rebound by King out long. They keep it alive. King will go to Marion right wing. Back to King. King left side to Deaver. Deaver will work it around to the left corner. Deaver back to King. King, a pass inside, tip, and a jump ball. And Tolliver and Frazier fighting for it. Possession will go to the Hornets. 6.55 left to go, just underway, third quarter. From Knox City, District 18, a basketball coming your way tonight. Back the other way, Wesley Brooks will work it for the Hornets in their all-black uniforms. Goes right wing to Matt Frazier. Frazier out long. Lobs it left side. It's stolen by Marion. Marion all the way. Two on one. Up and they good with a foul. Blocking foul called on Matt Frazier, a 6'2 junior. And Marion will get two shots. Two shots coming up. Ryan Marion, a 5'10 senior, 40 to 20. Greyhounds lead of this one. Coach Wayne Johnson, Steve Hauer, the head coach of the Hornets in his first year as a head coach. Three throwers up and good by Ryan Marion. So he'll have another one coming. This one is up and it is rolling around and will rattle in. He's in double figures with 11 points for the night. Back the other way, here comes Frazier. Frazier on the left side of the court, lost it between his legs. Stevens, three on two ahead to Marion. He'll pull up from eight, no good. The rebound out long by Deaver. They keep it alive. Deaver will jump up and good! Off the glass from seven. And Lance Deaver got the board. That little jump stop uh, shot. Good with a foul and a three-point opportunity here for Lance Deaver. A six-foot junior. 52, Greg Anderson fouls his second foul. Put the lead back up to 24, making 25. The free throw is good. Now that foul on 64, Greg Anderson. As he will throw it in to Wesley Brooks down court. Full court pressure by Doc City. They'll get it across. Brooks will drive. And a foul will be called on Knox City. King, Chris King the floor, so the Hornets will throw it in. Six minutes and 12 seconds left to go in the third quarter. Anderson out to King. Here's a three-pointer, no good. Rebound underneath, layup, good by Matt Frazier. 45 to 22, our score. As a near steal, and there is a steal. As the layup is good again by Casey Lamp. Good job by the Hornets on that pressure, and another near turnover. That ball knocked out of bounds by the Hornets. Greyhounds will have it. 45 to 24 now. Hornets with four quick points. As Chris King will move it down. Goes right side. Marion tips. Gets it back. Bounce pass to Stevens. Right baseline drive. Blocked by Anderson. And the Hornets will have it as it goes down. Boy, what about that? Greg Anderson. I don't even think he jumped, did he? Good job, Anderson. So the Hornets will have the basketball. Anderson lobs it in, out of bounds. As Wesley Brooks could not control it. Boy, that butterscotch is just what I needed. Hooked you up. Hell, Sinuses were working on me pretty good here. <laughs> uh, I, Coach 
goes to the rescue. Again, 543, Dock City has it underneath their own basket. As Marion will throw it in. Diva up from 15 and is fouled. And let's see who they get on the foul this time. It will be number 30, is that right? Or number All right, 10. Let's see, number 10, Carl. Yep, that is Casey Left, the 6'2 senior wing. Casey Left, that is foul number three. And at the free throw line for two will be Lance Deaver. Deaver, Stevens, Tolliver, Marion, and King on the floor. Free throw no good. Lance Anderson McDowell, a 6'4 freshman now checking in, along with Cheney and Brooks on the floor. Second free throw good for the Hornets. Now they're five players. 46 to 24, Anderson looks for someone to go to, finds Brooks on the break. Brooks will bring it all the way down court. Now drive baseline, lay it up, good. Coast to coast for Wesley Brooks, good job. And he got around that uh, Tolliver on that too. Yeah, Tolliver sitting in there with three fouls. Yeah, uh, you're right. Like he wanted to you're absolutely uh, want to contest that layup there. And a change as coming out for the Hornets will be left. Checking in will be Jason Gilly. And the Hornets with some full court pressure. King will break it across the timeline. Ahead to Stevens, play it up and no good. Rebounded by McDowell. McDowell loses it. Back to Stevens, and he's fouled as he goes up by Anderson. 46 to 26, a 20 point lead by the Greyhounds with 519 left to go in the third quarter. Let's see, the Hornets have outscored him so far this quarter, nine to six. Pretty good hustle by the Hornets. Again, they've had some shots. Scott Stevens for two, first one up and good. Scott Stevens, a 6'3 senior. He's only had one field goal this quarter so far, Tom. Second free throw, no good. Anderson high for the rebound. Greg Anderson will lay it off to Wesley Brooks. Brooks will move it down court across the timeline against David Dudensing back to the ball game. Trying to go underneath the tip by Tolliver, taken away by Dudensing. Back the other way to Tolliver. Lay it up and good. Boy, quick work by the Hounds to make it another board. 49 to 26. On the bucket by Oliver. Back the other way, Brooks to McDowell. The freshman, McDowell, will drive right baseline. Pulls up from 12. No good. Stevens, a high for the rebound. Out to Dudensing. Two on one. Dudensing all the way. Lay it up and good. 51 to 26. Boy, they can score quickly. Sure can. They can get it down the floor. McDowell, just at the timeline, will have to stop across to Gilly. A lob is stolen by Dorsey. Ahead to Deaver. Uncontested. Layup is good. I think the Hornets need a timeout, and they are going to call a timeout. Boy, this right here is a 7-0 run by the Greyhounds, and it's 4-19 left to go in the third quarter. Our score, Knox City 53, Asperbot 26, back in just a moment. And they've only put up five shots in this quarter. Anderson, a baseball pass way downfield. Knocked out of bounds from behind by Tolliver. Boy, even when they do get a break, the uh, defense for Knox City closes in quickly. It looked like that uh, Cheney was going to have an easy layup there. Knox hit three field goes out of five, but they uh, only got five shots. Here's a lob into Colabaco. No good from short range. It's Tolliver high for the rebound. Tolliver, the junior, off to Duden Singh. Quickly down in the right corner to Stevens, knocked out by McDowell. And Knox City will inbound it, side out. Leading 53-26 in the third quarter. Duden Singh inside, Stevens whacked on the arm from behind by Jason Gilley. 34 now. Yeah, Jason Gilley, the 6'2 junior, first foul. And Jason Gilly will check out. Checking back in will be Casey Left. As Knox City will inbound it. Underneath their own basket, David Dudensing will throw the round ball in. Tolliver, left baseline, no good. Dudensing, the rebound, kicks it off his foot. Boy, he was ready to go up with that. Anderson will throw in for the Hornets. Turnover on Knox City. 
Here's a long pass down court stolen by Dorsey, and Tolliver will have it. Tolliver goes right corner to Stevens. Stevens bounce pass to Tolliver. Ball is loose. Block and call on Tolliver. Well, I tell you, on that steal, it looked like Kevin Dorsey may have turned his ankle. Yeah, I think he did. He's coming out of the game. Boy, he has really played well, too, and coming in, back in, will be Ryan Marion. That turnover on the Greyhound. Hornets will inbound it. Greg Anderson will throw it in to Casey Lent. Back to Anderson, stolen layup, good by Stevens. Boy, got the steal and the layup, 55 to 26, our score. Here's another near steal and a foul on Marion. Ooh, put the pads on for that. You can hear that. And you can hear that balloon popping, too. That foul on Ryan Marion. I don't believe the Hornets in the bonus yet, are they? Nope. Nope. Second foul on Ryan Marion. Hornets inbounded side out. With 3.42 left to go in the third quarter. Here's Brooks down low, tipped out of bounds off the Hornets. Oh, a good try down to Lance, but uh, Lance could not hang on to it. Greyhounds have it back. And Scott Stevens will throw it in, and it's tipped, stolen by McDowell. Three on one, layup, good by Lance. So the Hornets get the steal, get the layup, and makes it 55 to 28. And Scott Stevens, the ball is rolling around. Now we get it back. Scott Stevens throws it in to King, being double teamed to the backcourt. Back to Stevens, a long pass, way over the head of Lance Beaver. And another turnover by the Knox City Greyhounds. They had played some pretty clean ball, but now racking up a few turnovers. Astrolon's going into a little zone trap down in the backcourt. That was a little problem. Here's McDowell at the free throw line. A whistle away from the ball and a foul. is called on big Greg Anderson. Greg Anderson with a holding foul, and I believe that's number four on the big man, the big senior, 6'4". And Knox City will have it back. Scott Stevens will throw the ball in. Scott Stevens out long to Grimsley. Grimsley back to Dudensing. Back to Marion. Marion will hold up right wing. Back out to Chris King. Goes left wing to Deaver. Deaver has it. Lob pass to Stevens. Left baseline. Lost it. Gets it back. Down to Grimsley. Inside the paint. Back to Deaver. Three-pointer is up and no good. Off the mark and gets his own rebound. Boy, good hustle by Deaver. Deep in the corner. Deaver inside to Stevens. Knocked away and out of bounds. Now we have a foul. Foul on number 10. Casey Lett. That's his fourth foul. So now Lett with four, Anderson with four, and Justin Cheney in. Free throw by Stevens up and in and out. No good. Rebounded by Casey Lett. Lett will dish it off to Wesley Brooks. Brooks lost it on a near steal by Deaver, and now out of bounds off of 15. Hornets get it back. Here's Brooks from Jason Gilly. Brooks will work it down court. Left side to Jason Gilly. Back to McDowell. Bounce to Brooks. Three-pointer. Top of the circle. No good. Brooks with the rebound. McDowell inside. No good. And we get a whistle on the rebound. Call him. Shooting free throws again will be number 30. That is Justin Cheney, a 6'2 junior. First one is good. 55 to 29. Our score. Doc City leads. Second free throw by Cheney. No good. Rebounded by Marion. Knox City on the run again. Now Marion will hold up. Now drives to the free throw line, and he is going to be fouled by Wesley Brooks. Marion. Marion with a one and one coming up here. Free throw is up and good. We'll have another one coming. 56 to 29 now. 225 left to go in the third quarter. Ryan Marion, second free throw on the way, and this one is good. Makes it 57 to 29. Hornets work it back down court. This is going to be Casey Lentz. Lentz will work it back across on the left side to Frazier. Frazier back to McDowell. McDowell will take a long three, no good. Rebounded by Chris Key. Quickly three on one ahead to Marion. Uncontested, no good on the layup. Gets his own rebound. Up, no good. Oliver. Up and good. Third time the charm. That time for Knox City. They kept it alive and 
Tolliver got the bucket. 154 left to go, 59 to 29. We get a whistle as the Hornets move it down. And the going to get in on a radio broadcast call. Sounds like it. As McDowell will get the feed, goes deep in the right corner. This is going to be Justin Cheney. Cheney will drive, puts it back out to Gilly, back outside. Here's a pump and a drive. 12 footer, no good by McDowell. Rebound inside, cannot get it. Now here's Gilly. He is up and is fouled. Jason Gilly is going to be fouled. I like West. I like uh, Grimsley got him. West Grimsley called for the foul. West is a 5'11 junior. 59 to 29, our score. We've had a pretty good night. Tolliver's had a good night. He's got uh, three fouls. He's got uh, eight points, but he's got a, got a bunch of rebounds. Boy, he sure does. And of course, he has gone out to two or three times in foul trouble here. Here's the second free throw. The first one good. This one no good. Scott Stevens the rebound, and he has pounded on the arm as he comes out with it. And Scott Stevens will come here. Casey left, a senior. Here's the first end of the one and one, and good by Stevens. And you might remember their football team we saw. Coach only had one one and one coming up. And this one is up and no good. Scramble for the rebound. And coming out with it will be Wesley Brooks. The Hornets move it back down court on the left side. Brooks will work it left wing to Matt Frazier back in. Inside, it's stolen by Scott Stevens. Stevens ahead to Newton Singh. Newton Singh will hesitate, drive the baseline. No good. Rebounded by McDowell. 11 left to go in the third quarter. Ahead to Brooks. Brooks will go left corner to Brooks. He'll put it up from seven. No good. Rebound inside. Layup by Gilly is good. Jason Gilly stayed with it, got it, laid it in. It is 62-32. Back the other way come the Greyhounds as they break the press. This is number 11, Anthony Ainsworth in the ball game. Ainsworth will have it, drive it, play it, it's good. Anthony Ainsworth, a 5'10 freshman, coming into the ball game. 62 to 32, final 35 seconds of the third quarter. Here's a lob, Gilly break into the basket, no good. Rebound pulled down by Wes Grimsley. Grimsley across the timeline to David Dudensing. Dudensing left wing to Ainsworth, back to Dudensing. Dudensing bounce past Stevens, and he's fouled as he goes to the basket. Five, six, seven, he'll have seven after these two. First one is up, and it is rolling around. No good. It's only hit two now, two of six. 30-point lead for the Greyhounds, 62 to 32. This free throw is up and no good. Rebounded by Grimsley. Hounds keep control. Grimsley nearly stolen, trying to get it back, and a foul is called on. Number 20. Creeping a low. It's had a lot of, uh, <laughs> lot of activity, a lot of whistles this quarter. Uh, free throw is good. We started this quarter at about uh, 920. Well, 925 when we started. <laughs> Second free throw by Grimsley. This one is up and good. 64 32. As the Greyhounds come out of the press now, Hornets work it down. Kalamako working the uh, point. Being guarded by Chris King. Bounce pass right wing to Matt Frazier. Back out to McDowell. McDowell will put it up from three. No good at the buzzer. And we have come to the end of the third quarter. And a big quarter for Doc City after three. It's the great rooms and courteous service. So next time you need a place to stay in Knox City or want to put some company up in a comfortable home away from home, get a room at the City Motel in Knox City. A proud supporter of the Knox City Greyhounds and Houndettes. Greyhound Otis, one and one, coming up four, Mr. Dwayne Tolliver. Free throw is up and no good. Rebounded by J Jason Gilly. Gilly getting up high. The 6'2 junior back down. Go the Aspermont Hornets. Gilly with control going to McDowell. Right wing has it knocked out of his hands by Ryan Marion. So the Hornets will inbound it side out. 7'43". As we play in the fourth quarter, some more good shooting by Knox City in that third period, scoring 24 points. Here's a dish off to McDowell from seven in and good. McDowell is a 6'4 freshman, and he nailed that one 64 to 34. Got the feed from Gilly off the left 
side. Here's Marion moving it back down. Marion going left baseline to Stevens. Back out to King. Deep in the right corner. Deeper lob pass. And right there, Oliver in and good. Dwayne Oliver, the feed from Deaver, 66-34. Back the other way goes Kalabako for the Hornets, the freshman. Kalabako will feed it off to another freshman, McDowell. McDowell working it deep in the left corner. Hornets on the left end of the court this period. Back out to Brooks. Here's Frazier. 15-footer, no good. Deaver for the rebound. Three on two. It's stolen by Kalamako. Good job. And a head nearly stolen by the hell. Chris King, he knocked it out. Hornets will have it. I tell you, the Hornets that time shot 39% from the uh, two-point range. Here's a shot, 15 foot, no good. Left baseline by the Hornets, and that's Casey Lentz. We have a foul called Lorenzo Calamaco. <clears throat> the uh, Hound shot uh, 56%. Uh, that time, Carl putting up 16 shots, hit seven of them. Astermont had five of 13 from the two point range and one for four. At about 55 to 60% here. Uh, real good shooting right now. And at the free throw line will be Chris King. Chris free throw is up no good. Tolliver though, the rebound and let's see him. Whatever that stuff may be. It's uh, perspiration. Oh. It's hard work. It is. And both these teams have been working hard. Here's Jason Gilly going left wing to Brooks. Brooks back out to Letts. Letts has it right wing to Kalamako. He'll drive on the baseline, up no good, but a blocking foul called on King. And that'll put Kalamako at the free throw line. First of two is on the way, and it is no good off the back iron. 6.25 to go in this ball game. 66-34, Knox City leads. Second free throw is up, and no good. A tip out to Kalamako on the rebound, puts it back up, no good. Up and good, this shot is in by Matt Frazier, failing. Boy, it rattled in, and Matt Frazier will put the Hornets back on, trailing by 30, 66-36. Quickly down court, Stevens open underneath. Up, they wave it off, a foul before the shot. Called on Jason Gillis tonight. He's shot 11 free throws, this one's good. That's number 12 on the free throws. 6.08 left to go in the ball game. 67-36. Second free throw is up and rolling around. Good. 68-36. Ray Hounds into this ball game. 3-0 and in district. 18-3 for the year. As Calabaco moves it back down. Going in the right corner. Ball is loose. Out of bounds off the Hornets. Just at full court trap here as Chris King will work it to Tolliver. Tolliver still in the ball game with four fouls to Stevens, off to Marion. Marion right wing, back to Debu deep in the corner. Pump fake, will bounce pass to Tolliver. Up and fouled. Again, and King. Yeah, one and one. And the first one up, no good. Rebounded by Calamaco. Calamaco along with Anderson. Brooks. I should say Frazier, Lance and Chaney in the ball game, and we get a whistle. A call on Lance Deaver. You're listening to high school basketball on KVRP AM Stanford. KVRP FM Haskell. Free throw, no good. Anderson high for the rebound. Back up, in and out, no good. The rebound pulled down by Frazier. His layup is in. Hornet staying with it. Got the bucket, 68 to 38. Back the other way, Deaver will pull up now. Left wing, bounce pass to Stevens, baseline fake. Drive, play up, it's good. Boy, did he do a number on the defense that time. And Scott Stevens with the baseline layup. Back the other way, here's the 17 footer in by Matt Frazier. From way downtown, 70 to 40 now. Back the other way quickly, Stevens. And he lost it. Greg Anderson will come out with it. Hornet. Work it back the other way to Kalamako. Kalamako. Law pass right side. Three-pointer put up and no good by Justin Cheney. Scott Stevens. I believe this will be his 15th free throw. This one is good. So he hits them both. Back the other way. Go the Hornets. And Lorenzo Kalamako will work it. 
Top of the free throw circle, lob inside, Anderson to the basket, and no good, gets his own rebound. In and good for Greg Anderson, the 6'4 fresh uh, senior, stays with it. Makes it a 72-42 ball game. Back the other way with 4.25 left to go. Quickly, Stevens behind the back pass. Stolen by Calabaco. As the Hornets work it back the other way. Dudensing is in now, and he steals the ball. Dudensing will bring it all the way down. Lay it up and good. The junior, six foot, will lay it in. 74 to 42. Calabaco works it back down for the Hornets against David Dudensing. Goes left wing. This is going to be Frazier. Back across to Lance Cheney, I should say. Three-pointer, no good. Rebounded by McDowell. His jumper from eight is good. And the freshman, Brandon McDowell, hits the bucket. 15 in this ball game. David Dudensing will bring it down for the Greyhounds. Dudensing, right wing to Dorsey. Dorsey lob inside to Tolliver. Tolliver will drive up and no good, but he traveled anyway. Hornets will have it back as Greg Anderson throws it in to Wesley Brooks. Back in the ball game. Brooks, little fake, little drive. Back to Anderson. Three-pointer is on the way and no good. Kevin Dorsey with the rebound and he is Rock City Greyhound. Free throws tonight. This one is no good. Anderson high for the rebound. Well, he's a good looking player. Anderson will dish off to Brooks. Up ahead to Justin Cheney. Cheney will drive in and good from eight. He got between Marion and Tolliver. And that leaning jumper goes in 74 to 46. With 3.08 left to go in the ball game. Deaver to Dorsey. Back out to Duden Singh. Duden Singh will work it out deep here, trying to kill some time. Back to Dorsey. Inside, there's Tolliver. Wave it off, and they will shoot the one and one. Free throw is up and good. With 2.58 left to go in the ball game. 75 to 46. Looks like the Greyhounds will go 4 0 in district play. They're looking pretty good. Second free throw, no good. Rebounded by Dorsey. Dorsey keeps it alive out to Duden Singh. Duden Singh tried to feed it inside. Tolliver there again. Back out to Ainsworth. 19 footer, no good. Rebounded by Dorsey. They keep it. An offensive rebound again. Lob inside. Turnaround jumper from seven, no good. Rebounded by McDowell. Out to Brooks. The Hornets work it back down court. Brooks, here's a hesitation move by Lett. Or Cheney, I should say. Back out to McDowell. To Anderson, left wing. Calamaco. Calamaco has it nearly stolen. Gets it back. Left baseline layup, no good. Rebounded. Three on one. Newton sing ahead to Tolliver. And he's fouled. Before this game's over. As Dwayne Tolliver will put it up. And it's headed out, no good. Rebound up by Ainsworth. No good. Dipped in almost. And comes out, rebound, pulled down by Matt Frazier. The Hornets move it back down court. Frazier to Brooks. Back to Frazier, top of the circle, left corner to Calamaco. Will pump, drive, put it up, and good from six. Good move. And a uh, nice little touch jump shot. 75 to 48, 152 left. Ainsworth back to King. Three-pointer is in and out, no good. Grimsley the rebound, partially blocked. And McDowell, a 6'4 freshman, comes out with it. Ahead to Matt Frazier. Frazier works in left corner. Back out to Brooks. Makes the three. Drives back to Frazier. He'll put the three up. No good. Tolliver with another rebound. Knox City brings it back down. Tolliver ahead to Chris King. King will bring it down court. Nearly stolen. Gets it back. King inside. Grimsley right there. At the free throw line. This one is in. And with Nine points in the game today. Back the other way, Matt Frazier deep on the right side of the court. We'll get it inside, left side now. Calamaco takes the three. Back across to Frazier. Three-pointer is good from the right wing. Deep downtown, and Matt Frazier will nail it. 78 to 51, 57 seconds left. As Chris King will drive in the paint, lay it off to Ainsworth. Three-pointer on the way. It's good. Anthony Ainsworth, the freshman, will nail it. 81 to 51. 
back. Get away, Wesley Brooks for the Hornets will have it. Wesley will go to the free throw line, and it's stolen. And it's here's Ainsworth. This one is up and no good. Rebounded by McDowell with 35 seconds left to go. Calamaco will come out with it. Ahead to McDowell. McDowell, top of the free throw circle. Back across. Underneath, here is Cheney. The turnaround jumper from seven, no good. Chris King, the rebound. King, three on two all the way, and he's fouled from behind. Aaron's foul out. 81 to 51, our score. And make it 82 51 as King will hit that first end of the one and one. 19.5 seconds left in the ball game. Chris King with another free throw. This one is up and good. 83 51. And the Aspelbaum Hornets work it down one more time. Wesley Brooks will have it. Back to McDowell, top of the free throw circle. McDowell drives left side, feeds it right side. Frazier, three-pointer on the way. Good. Deep in the right corner. Frazier has hit two in a row. And Knox City now will hold the ball. Time will run out. And we have come to the end of this basketball game. Our final score, the Knox City Greyhounds winning this one by the score of 83 to 54. And we'll be back in just a moment. The Knox County News is located at 1110 North Central in Knox City. The Knox County News handles a complete line of office and school supplies, computer software, and printer paper, office equipment, adding machines and calculators, business cards, work invoices, and a complete line of wedding and personal stationery. For all your advertising or business needs, call the Knox County News, Knox County's oldest established newspaper. For Let's have made it a sweep here in uh, both girls and boys games. The Knox City Greyhounds defeating the Hornets, 83 to 54, looking strong, using that uh, quickness, good bench, a lot of depth, and uh, got some good scoring off the bench and uh, forcing a number of turnovers and winning this one tonight. They led after one quarter, 21 to seven. They led at halftime, 40 to 17, and up that lead to uh, to uh, 32 by the end of the third quarter, outscoring Aspermont 24 to 15 in that frame. Aspermont did get hot in that fourth quarter, outscoring Knox City 22 to 19, but uh, not enough. And one by 29, the final was 83 to 54. That goes along with the opening game tonight, where the Houndettes defeated the Lady Hornets 61 to 52. The Knox City Greyhounds now 4 and 0 in district, 19 and 3 for the.